Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham and in this video I'd like to show you how you can make jitter measurements accurately and reliably using the RTO series oscilloscopes. For this example I've got a 10 megahertz clock signal going through here um, uh, probed via differential probe on the demo board and as you can see here on the display um, we've actually captured a large amount of the trace data to get lots of signals and lots of cycles to come through and you can actually see that I've done a zoom there so you can actually see the 10 megahertz clock there. What we've then done is doing a measurement on the TIE so time interval error and you can see the statistics down at the bottom there for that particular signal. What you also see is a track of the TIE. So on the, the, the sort of purple trace there, you can actually see the TIE measurement done uh, and, and tracked along each of the cycles that we've actually captured. And you can see there, there's a definite pattern. So let me go ahead and minimize that, that, um, the main signal. And you can actually see there is kind of a definite pattern to how the TIE is actually changing. And you can also see that it's kind of bursted as well. It's not kind of periodic at all. Um, what you can do now is also do further analysis on this signal. So you could do things like a histogram measurement. Uh, you can actually display that so you see the distribution of that TIE measurement over that period and you see uh, the definite side lobes that we're seeing there so that we, we know there's a strong um, disturbance coming through from somewhere. And uh, the only way to analyze this is maybe to do uh, further analysis on that signal. So from the TIE measurements we could see uh, yet there is this definite um, definite disturbance and uh, what we can do is do an FFT or a spectrum measurement on that TIE. So that's been displayed here and you see that in this display. So this is from DC to about 5 megahertz or so on uh, and you can see these low frequency disturbances that we're seeing and one thing in particular is the 832 kilohertz which if you try and calculate it is about uh, 12th of the signal if you like um, so then you can you can correlate that if you may so we see um, in the track function here and if you put cursors on that that nice rel relates to the 830 32 kilohertz if you may or 38 kilohertz if you like and, and that really gives you a whole picture of the signal now the only way to do this kind of measurement is to have a large capture and as you can see on the settings we, we kept about 20 giga samples of sample rate. Um, it's not so important to have that big samples but if, because of that we have a very large memory capture and because of that we get this nice detail in the FFT domain for the low frequency if you may and then we can do further analysis and try and, ca uh, ca um, try and find out exactly where those kind of disturbances are coming from. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to do jitter measurements on the RTO and also give you an idea of all the different tools that you have um, that you can actually use to find out where exactly um, the errors are coming from. So things like statistical measurements that you can do, um, doing the track function is nice and you can actually see that where exactly and try and find if there are patterns if you may and then doing histograms and the FFT of that will give you a full view of where exactly disturbances are coming from.